I'm most definitely gonna get me some more hair wraps for the summer. I ain't got a black one. I want a black red. Hey, Soul Squad. I told you I was coming back. It's 8.30, but I was coming back. Hey, Lilani's Kitchen. How you doing, boo? How you been? Good evening. Hey, Living Life United. Look, she said, I'm ready. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I had to get myself together, but I was coming back, y'all. I had to pull it up off the bed. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Kenya. Hey, Christy. I had to pull myself off the bed. You know, I told y'all I didn't go see to 8 o'clock this morning. So we got off that live this morning. Um, hey, Miss Scott. I made Jackson and I and Josh with some breakfast. If I made breakfast, I end up. Still not going to sleep right away, but I did eventually go to sleep, and then I woke up around. My granddaughter got here, so she woke me up around about 5 o'clock, because I don't think I ate breakfast at 2. Shoot, I think I had just went to sleep at 4 o'clock, and my granddaughter got here, woke me up at 5 o'clock, and then I told her, I said, baby, I got to see. I said, Grandma, I'm so tired, and so she went in the room with her father, and then I woke up at 6.30, and, you know, talk to some people on the phone for a minute, get myself together, throw some water on my face, went and ate, uh, um, went and ate my dinner because, you know, I got to eat before 8. Went and made me a turkey sandwich and some crystal lemonade and talk on the text and talk a good friend. And I'm here. I wanted to get it all. I had to get it all in. And the truth be known, I'm still sleepy because each time I try to lay down to sleep, it's everybody, because at times that everybody else is up, you really supposed to be up. It's 530 in the evening. I'm laid down with my cover knocked out. Yeah, but I, I couldn't. So for real, y'all only had about three hours sleep today. So I know when we finish doing this, um, when we finish doing this live, I will be getting some sleep. I see it in my eyes, but it's going, I'm awake. I'm waking up. All right, y'all, so I'm even here and there because we're ready for a long overdue, long overdue password. How many people we supposed to wait, hey, Wanda, before we start? How many people? We got 34 people. I'm not going to start because I got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to do a DC on y'all. I'm not going to start password until the thumbs up matches the content of the people. Hey, Crystal has seen the star. I got 36 people, 15 thumbs up. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all want to play password? Let's go. What's up, Taylor? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's make it match. Let's make the math math. <laughs> Oh, man. Y'all know DCB know how to do that. Let's go. Hey, Aqua. Hey, Veronica. Get them. We got 38 people. 21 thumbs up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Ling. I'm cleaning, wiping my glasses off. It'll say, uh, my hands was wet. <laughs> Oh, man. And, y'all, these passwords complimentary to Dr. M, one of our Soul Squad members. I know she probably not in here. She's like, that damn Soul for tea don't never, um, ain't, it's been almost a month since I gave her those passwords, and she ain't done nothing yet. Excuse me. So, shout out to Dr. M, who provided us with today's game and password. Melina said, I'm here, sis. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all remember how password uh, work? I'm about to give y'all. Uh, oh no, don't start yelling at us like all the other influencers. <laughs> <laughs> never that, boo. Never that. 
All right, y'all know how password go. If you're not familiar with password, it's a clue game. I give you a clue, you try to think about what I'm thinking of. Unlike the other uh, original password, we don't have a time limit. Um, we don't have like you gotta we don't have a time in it. So I'm gonna give an example. This is just an example, and I'm gonna give you an example. Um it comes in it comes in many sizes. Everybody need one, but not everybody have one. You can have it in a living room, a basement, or a bedroom, and it's comfortable. What am I talking about? Nope, not a TV. Nope, not a TV. Nope, not a cap. Yes, lean a bed. Yes, lean a bed. A uh, yes, Miss Scott a bed. Yes, Veronica a bed. So this is how password is played. I give contact clues. You throw out what you think it is. So it comes in many sizes. You know, queen, California king, large, full. You know, it comes in many sizes. You can have one of your living room. You can have one of your basement. You can have one of your bedroom. And it is comfortable. Depends on what type of mattress you got. So, yeah. So, this is how password is paid. So, everybody got to understand the how password. Uh, we ain't doing you got one. <laughs> Lisa, I got one. Yes, you did get one. I think, was you the first one to say it? Yes, you did. You got one. Okay. So, <clears throat> Dr. M. Thank you, baby. She gave us, we got 21. I'm going to do them in order. Since I didn't write them, I'm not going to be all over the place. I'm going to do them order. I'm going to try to be as clear as focused as I can. If you don't understand it, if they're not clear, I have no problem with repeat it. Uh, to repeat it. So are you guys ready to do password? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Put on your thinking caps. Here we go. It's white, worn, and in medical facilities. What is it? Hey, Valerie. It's white, worn, in medical facilities. What is it? Yeah, yeah. But see, can I take that? Because it's the same thing. Yeah, lab coat. That's it. Doctor's coat. Lab coat. Lab coat is what it is. Lab coat. Yes. Go ahead, y'all. Y'all was on that. Now, I'm saying, she look, tell her said gown. You know them gowns do not be white, tell her. Them things be all multicolored and everything. <laughs> yes, lab coat. Yes, that was good. Dr. M really put her mind on these. Yes, y'all. So, if anybody lagging, you know, um, come out to make sure that your chat is in real time and everything to come back in if you're lagging. Because sometimes we'll move on to another question and people still be answering the first question because they didn't see the answer. <laughs> and look, she just said, and your butt be showing because <laughs> you always hanging out in the back. I used to turn my lab, I used to turn my um hospital gowns around to the front. And then I used to get suits, I used to turn and they had nothing to do size. It's the way you ain't want your backside showing. I have to put one end like a house, like a um, like a um road turned around to the front. Because even with the front, if you tied, you still got a gap. So then I take another one and put it the way they want you to put it and have it in the back. And that way you secure the whole way around. So I don't want nobody to go to the hospital. We have in the hospital, that's how you wear your hospital gown. You get two of them. You put it on the front like a like a um you said you too i do the same thing yes i had when i was having my babies i did the same thing because that way you secure in they want you walk up and down the halls and you holding them holding the um the iv thing and holding the holding your gown in the back and holding your iv thing while you're walking so anybody do that okay number two it's green comes in various sizes in length thickness is sweet or sour name that name what it is name what it is oh my god lanali kitchen pickle yes let me find out yes hey pickle yes lane pickle yes because it's green it comes in various sizes and length it's thickness it's sweet or sour the cucumber would have been good but it's pickle yes all you guys are saying pickle the answer is pickle yes 
<laughs> okay. See, I looked over some of these, but I didn't look over all of them. So I'm so I'm while I'm reading, I'm being surprised of what the answer is. Cause I didn't look over all of them. I looked over me and my cousin looked over a lot of them and I played it with my cousin. And she was like, oh, this lady good. Yeah, different thicks and sizes and lengths. <laughs> hey, at least they kept it PG. Damn, they automatically thought pickle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, number three. Okay. It is not of the three primary colors. Listen to it. It's almost like a sentence. Number three. It is not of the three primary colors, red, yellow, or blue. It's wet and it's hot or cold. Name the name what it is. I don't want, what else I say? N name name the name the price or what well, I should say name the product. So let me read it again. It is not of the three primary colors: red, yellow, or blue. It's wet and it's hot or cold. What is it? It's not the three primary colors: red, yellow, and blue. It's wet and it's hot and cold. What is it? Nope. Y'all so far off. Y'all gotta really think. Nope. It could be hot. It could be cold. It's not the three primary colors. Red, white, or blue. It's wet. Nope, not white. Hey, sophisticated lady. Yes, Veronica got it. Coffee. Coffee. Veronica got it. I'm saying Dr. M is good. Yes, it's coffee. Coffee. Remember, coffee is not any of the primary color. Color is um. And somebody said milk, cause she said coffee or milk. So, Veronica, she had two answers down here. So, Veronica and Lisa, coffee or milk, cause she had two answers. She said coffee or milk. So, it was two. And this is a two part answer. So, listen to it. It's it is it's, mm, it is not a three primary colors. So, it's not red. It's not yellow or blue. It's wet. Coffee is wet. Milk is wet. It's hot or cold. Milk could be hot or it could be cold. <laughs> and what? The um, coffee is what? Black? And milk is white? So, yeah. That was a good one. And they're not supposed to be easy. We got to open up our mind. But them clues was crazy, though. <laughs> You love coffee. Okay. This is number four. And that's why I'm trying to read it slow. To make sure when you read the other people stuff, I want to make sure it makes sense. Number four. It's small, square, has a title, and you can select to view it. What is it? It's small, square, has titles, and you can select to view it. What is it? A thumbnail. Oh my God, Lenati, Lenati, girl, you on fire? Yes, it's a thumbnail. <laughs> you on fire, man? I love password. You on fire? Yes, Lisa, Lenati on fire. Yes. <laughs> oh man. I would have never guess that if I ain't had this in front of me. Yes, living life united. Yes, thumbnail. Lanani uh, Kitchen knew exactly what it was. She threw that answer up there with a quick, quick. Tay said, never would have guessed. I wouldn't have guessed it even Tay. If I was out there on the, on the other side, I'd be like, huh? What is she talking about? My brain would have been all over the place. Oh, that's. that's hey, Lisa. What's up? Yes, okay. Look, she said I only got it because it was the was the square with the title. Yep, them thumbnails are square. Hey, uh, what you cooking, Glenda? How you doing, honey? Welcome to Password. All right, number five. Mm. It's white. Mostly sh mostly shredded and it's aromatic. 
It's white, mostly shredded, and it's aromatic. What is it? If I ain't see this answer, I wouldn't know what it is either. Nope, not cheese. Yes, West Coast Cali coconut. Yes, West Coast Cali coconut. It's a coconut. It's it's um it's white, mostly shredded, and it's aromatic. Yes, Miss just kind of coconut. Your West Coast Cali coconut. What's up, Sherry? How you doing? Uh, uh, she said, wow, I didn't even think of coconut. Yes. Like, okay, okay, let me find out. <laughs> you got that one. You y'all thought about that one. Hey, Camely. Oh, welcome, Kimberly. Welcome. Y'all, we got a new subscriber and we're playing password. And she got my same last name. Hey. <laughs> welcome, welcome to um welcome to um game night. Welcome to game night. We're playing password. Just jump on in. Jump on in. Uh, y'all ready? What number we on? That was number five. We on number six. Y'all ready? You sit on it. It differs in shapes, varies in size. It has many colors and textures. What is it? Yep, yep, your butt. Yes, your butt. Who said butt? Well, she got butt ox. Butt ox. She got your butt ox. But yes, <laughs> it's butt. It, it's butt. <laughs> I don't know why she put that though, but that's exactly what it's your honey. <laughs> your honey, yes. And yes, she said, um, you sit on it. It's different in shape, varies in size, and has many colors and textures. Mm. <laughs> your buttocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does come in many shapes and got, but got we got texture. Yeah, because you know them girls be getting them things. Some of them, them things be some so I know mine's I've been told mine's is kind of like firm, you know. So it could be firm to the touch, it could be wiggly to the touch, it could be like, yeah, so it, yeah, it has texture. <laughs> Oh man, you gotta think about it, man. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is number seven. Yep, and look, our textures is dimples. Girl, you right about that. I got some of those too. <laughs> okay, number um, what we got? Number seven. It's invisible. It's much needed. And in some places costs money. What is it? It's visible. It's much needed. And God dang it, you got it, Glenda. What you cooking, Glenda? You got it. Air. Air. Not air freshener, but air. Yes. Kenya. Air. Yes. Veronica. Air. Oxygen. Air. How y'all get that one? Let me find out. Y'all got that. Y'all got that quick. <laughs> okay. Mm. I like that. I, I man, I'm about to hit Dr. M up because she she that she that lady. She did these, yeah. Uh, she got me 21. Say so invisible gave it away. Yes. Yes, Dimitri Air. Okay, number eight. Um it can be broken. It's coated in red liquor. Mm, let me see. It can be broken. It's coated in red liquid. Can be minded. Mm, and it's fragile. What is what is it? It can be broken. Oh my God, yes. Um West Coast Cali, heart, heart, heart. What in the world? Yes, heart, heart, heart. You guys got that. Somebody said a cat. You know, ain't no dad go cat. <laughs> he said a cat. A glass would have been good. But when it said coated in red liquid, I think that's like blood or something. 
Oh my God. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Uh, number nine. Some people receive it, has three initials, and is a great purchase tool. What is it? Oh, I don't see an answer. She don't have an answer for this. She don't have an answer for this one. Number nine. Y'all, we might got to make up an answer for this one because I don't see an answer for number nine. It say, some people receive it, has three initials, and is a great purchase tool. But I don't see no answer. Oh, it is an answer. It's on next. Oh, somebody said EBT. Who got EBT? Oh, yeah, Dimitri. It's EBT. Oh, I don't know the answer either because they were giving to me. <laughs> but I see it moved down to the next page at the top. <laughs> yes. Okay, some people receive it. Has three initials. And it's a great purchase tool, EBT. Yeah, somebody, he's the only person that got it. Yes, you did get it. <laughs> and I was like, what is she talking about? Where is it at? It moved on to the next page. Y'all, that be. I told you I ain't the smartest tool in the, in, the, in, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't the smartest tool in the toolbox. <laughs> and he's why I still use mine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. That was good. That threw me. I apologize for that one. But we did get one um, Soul Squad member who did get it. Okay. Number 10. A lady, beautiful heart and soul, cultivated camaraderie, and it's fun. What is it? Well, who is it? A lady, beautiful heart and soul cultivated camaraderie and it's fun who is it they went there hey amaze me yeah sober tea it's me <laughs> lanani got it right yes she put me on here when i saw it i was like did she say me she said me hey hey i was a password i was a password hey yes tell us over t wow i say oh i'm a password <laughs> oh man yes i was like when i read that other day i said no she did because when i was reading i said what, what the, what? i was like who is this and my cousin said, girl, the answer is you. I said, the answer is me. And then I look, I said, yeah, she said, so petite. <laughs> hey, Cynthia. So that was a good one. We might have to use that again way down the line. Hey, humble lion. What's up, boo? Okay, so y'all ready? Number 11. Okay. It gets wet. Opens wide and keep water out. What is it? It gets wet, open wide, and keep water out. What is it? No, ain't no bag gonna walk. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, Miss Star is an umbrella. Yes, Miss Scott is an umbrella. Shirley is an umbrella. <laughs> yes, Raga, I'm not no damn toilet. <laughs> Yes, it's an umbrella. Why somebody said tall? What's the color? Why you say tall? Yes, everybody said umbrella. It's an umbrella. It um it gets wet, it opens wide, and keeps water out. <laughs> oh man. Bye. I'm not even and I'm not even saying your answer out yet. Yes, Lisa, it's an umbrella. All right, number 12. It weighs has meaning it can hang or it's folded and have colors what is it yes a flag look La can you see these answers can you see through my telephone yes flag yes west coast cali let's flag yes leave flag see i'm dying in the comments yes flag yes that was a good one it weighs a <laughs> yes. Uh uh. 
She said, my comments are behind. Okay. That was that was really good. I this is one right here. Someone who loves you wants to communicate with you, provides for you. Who is it? Someone who loves you, wants to communicate with you, provides for you. Who is it? No, no, no. Yes, Lanani, Lanani, God. Yes, God. Yes, um. Y'all moving fast. Someone said, Lord, yes, Leilani, and um, what you cooking? Yes, God, yes, God. If you guys, yes, God, the answer is God, number um, 14, number 13. Someone who loves you, wants to communicate with you, provides for you. That man upstairs, that man upstairs, yes. Man, she she picked me. She picked something that's passing to my heart. That that my new journey. I am loving. It. He said a cougar. Oh, you, I said God first. You did. You know I got to see what's on my end, humble line. But okay. Uh, this is said Lalani sent those in. <laughs> oh man. Y'all moving fast tonight. I don't know how many people is actually on this on here, but these they coming in like swiftly. Okay, you ready? Let's see what number I'm on. We're on number 14. Usually in cars, wiggle. Most have big heads and come in various types. What am I? Usually in cars. It wiggles. Most have big keys and come. Yes, Lanani. Lanani, yes. Bobblehead. 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 Lanani. She's the first one up here now. And I know I'm looking straight at the screen. Bobblehead. Yes. Sleeping star. Bobblehead. Yes. Miss Scott. A bobblehead. <laughs> yes. That, uh, that, that, that was good. That was really good. That that was really good. I didn't think nobody's gonna get that one. My cousin got that one right away too. That was some good clues on that one. Okay, number fifteen. It's taken. Outcome is reviewed. It's achieved, given or shared. What is it? It's taken. Outcome is reviewed. It's achieved, given or shared what is it not a award not a goal responsibility no what bye oh i don't even like you put that up there um no 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 clothing the club money was close but no let me say it again I won't take my eyes off the screen. Nope, not advice. I'm looking for someone that said, it's taken. Outcome is reviewed. It's achieved, given, or shared. What am I? Nope. Let me know when y'all want to give up. This might be kind of hard. Not results. Nope. It's taken. Outcome is reviewed. It's achieved, given, or shared. What am I? Y'all going to be sick when I tell y'all what it is. Because somebody was so close, but they named it something else, and I can't give you that. Not criticism, not opinion. Nope, and nobody take it. Listen to what I'm saying. It's taken. Outcome is reviewed. Reviewed. It's achieved, given, or shared. A lot of people do this all the time. They stay doing this. It's taken. Outcome is reviewed. Yeah, CT, a picture, a photo, a picture. Yeah, CT family got it. It's a picture. What you do? You take it and you look at it. You review it. And then um, it's achieved because it's what you want. And then you give it or you share it. Picture, it's a photo, it's a picture. Yes. 
Man, I know that had y'all like, what in the world? Because y'all was putting in some answers, guys. A photo or picture. That was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> but somebody said video. And I was like, if they say video, somebody going to say picture or photo real soon. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, let's see. They roll all shapes, colors, and size. Both are needed, but one is still an operable feature. What is it? Oh, somebody said balls. No, not balls, not tires. They roll. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Both are needed, but one is the optimal feature. Nope. Nope. I'll try to look, make sure I don't see nobody say somebody said. Yes, amaze me. Amaze me. Eyes. They're your eyes. You roll them. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Both are needed. But still, only one is, op is an operable feature. You could have one. Yes, your eyes, your eyes. That was a good one, too. Amaze me got that one. Your eyeballs. Okay. Now, let me see this one. It can be found in the most unexpected places. It impacts your life emotionally for good or bad. Affects your heartbeat. You can go in and out of it. What is it? Yeah, yeah sleeping star, love. Yes, Leilani, love. Yes, oh my God, yes, West Coast Cali, love. Uh, somebody say consciousness. <laughs> Sleep, feelings, anxiety. Yes, everybody say love is love is love. Because remember, um, it can be found in the most unexpected places. Um, it does impact impacts your life emotionally. Um, it could be good or bad for you, and it affects your heart, and you could go in and out of it. That was good. Somebody say sex. <laughs> now you say. Oh, uh, you said, I never knew what I was missing, but I knew once we start kissing, I find, I find you. Oh, now what I'm gonna do? So in love, my heart, my soul, I can't go on, baby, without you. Rainy days. Y'all know that's the song. Right there. Hey, go ahead and tell us. He picked that one up. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, James. <laughs> Somebody say next. <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, <laughs> uh, it sounds terrible. What's news? Imagine how it sounds without it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go on. Number 18, y'all ready? It can be cooked twice, requires washing, and subject to grow roots. What is it? It can be, oh yes, damn, Lailani, a potato. You ain't even let me read it, read it again. <laughs> Yes, potato. Yes, what you cooking a potato? Yes, everybody say potato, potato. It's right. Yes, it's a potato. You know, it could be cooked twice. It requires to wash and subject to growing roots. It's a potato. She said my lips do too. <laughs> oh man, y'all got tears in my eyes. Okay, number 19. It's long and big. It sucks for comfort. Has only one color. What is it? It's long and big. It sucks for comfort. Has only one color. What is it? 
No, not the D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm lying to me. Yeah, I had something like, you know, why I ain't playing with y'all? <laughs> we got we to get our mind out the gutter, okay? <laughs> it's long and big. It sucks for comfort, has only one color. What is it? Y'all ain't gonna get this. I don't even know why she picked this one here because this is gonna take everybody straight to the dead going gutter. <laughs> what am I? That's what I said. It's long and big. It sucked for comfort. Has only one color. What am I? Ain't, ain't nobody gonna think of this. Y'all let me know how long y'all wanna do before I tell y'all what that what this answer is. I'm going to say it again. Yes, an elephant. A-O-B-J's world, an elephant. Yes, I guess it's, it, it sucks for comfort because it sucks out that thing. And their trunk was this, it's long and big and they only come in one color. They're gray. Yeah. Yes, an elephant. <laughs> elephant. <laughs> Somebody said a plunger. <laughs> Yeah, that's what she got right here. It's long and big. It sucks for comfort. Has only one color. An elephant trunk. Yes. Hey, Tom TV. She said, okay, West Coast Cali, my father. <laughs> Look, I give these hints a D. You get those hints? Yes. I think I could have thought of something else with that one, too. I don't think nobody would never got that, but two people put their brains to it and they did it. And you had to really think on that one. Hey, Tom. Okay, number 20. Y'all ready? Can be used as a disposable site. Is a depression affiliate with collapsing. What is it? Can be used as a disposable site. Is a depressed affiliate affiliate with collapsing what is it or oh, what am i nope not tent nope not plastic bag no not recycling bin nope not tent nope and it's affiliated with clap with collapsing what am i can't be used as a disposable site Affiliated with it collapsing, what am I? Not a folding table. Nope, not tapons. Nope, oh my goodness. Yes, depression. No, not the morning after. Nope, not a chair. I don't think you guys going to get this one. Um, I'm going to add something else to it. It can happen and it can happen in or it can, it can happen in the street. It can happen in sand. It's been known to happen and cars fall into it. What am I? Not a pothole. I know it doesn't. And trust me, I'm reading just right with a sinkhole. Yes, sinkhole. And I'm reading just how she got it. Can't be used as a disposable site. I didn't know we could use sinkholes as a disposable site. Affiliated with collapsing. A, yes, a sinkhole. I think it should have had, because I didn't know that um, a sinkhole is used as a disposable site. I didn't know that. So, yes, it's a sinkhole. Oh, uh, uh, that's not, it, it can't, it's not, I ain't think so either. That's why I was like, this one going to be confusing because I didn't know that um, you could use a sinkhole as a disposable site. To me, that sounds like that would have been like a, um, a place where you dump trash at or something. And it is affiliated with collapsing though. But I think the clues on this one, yeah. And so I think the clues on this one should have been a little bit different. 
I that's why I was like number 20 gonna be kind of like I want to I should have switched the clues up on that one okay this 21 thought-provoking yes it is Veronica 21 you can open new ones provide a way out usually located at the top and provides a chance to open reopen associated with the word click the word click what is it let me read it again i gotta see somebody answer you can open new ones provide a way out usually locked at the top and provides a chance to open and reopen associated with the word click Yes, tab. Who said tab? Tabs. I see you, Miss Kenya, but I see Mo 82 tab. Um, I see Kenya tab. Mo 82 on top of her say tabs. Anybody else say tabs? Nope. They the only two got it. They the only two got it. Tabs. It's a tab. And I guess tab is on the computer. Because the tabs on the computer, you can open new ones. You open new tabs, uh, provide a way out, usually lock at the top. It provides a chance to open, reopen, associated with the word click, a tab. You open different tabs up on a computer. She had y'all brain thinking on this one. She had y'all brain thinking on this one. Well, though, yes, window tabs, yes. The only one I was confused about was number 20. I think every all of them was good except for number 20. The with windows when you're on the computer when you open up different tabs and they be at the top and you can open that one up or you can lock it out and shut it out the tabs excuse me the tabs it be like on your on, on your computer on your laptop so you can open up multiple tabs and do different works with each one of them without keep just looking up, looking them up. What's a good fried with side chicken? I like potato salad. Thank you, Lisa. Potato salad. I like potato salad. Potato salad is good with fried chicken. Did you some potato salad? Some fried chicken and some potato salad? Man, that's going to be good. And get you a vegetable, maybe a string bean, a string bean, a broccoli, some asparagus, or some, what's a little cabbage things? What are those little cabbage things? Because I don't eat them all the time. And put some bacon on top there. Yeah, honey. Uh, what's some things called? Those little cabbages. Um. Mmm. Brussels sprouts. Yeah, Brussels sprout with some bacon. Mm-hmm. And some potato salad. Yes. You know what? I I I. Uh, <laughs> What I was about to say, my brain is gone. And it was about it was about a food. But then that's even here and there because in, in a split second, just like that, she didn't forget. Okay, y'all. So um she only gave us 21. I liked all of them except for 20. I thought they were all cute and I'm very grateful. So thank you, Dr. M. You made our password very enlightening and it was not easy. I made some brown sugar beans and the other night and they was a bomb. Yes, you cook some Brussels sprouts up with some potato salad and fried chicken. That'd be a good meal with some bacon. Uh, so with that being um said, I got a bonus one for you guys. I got a bonus one. Let's get off this food. We doing password. Somebody gonna pass some food around. <laughs> I got a bonus one right off top of my head. Okay. Um, it's a foundation. Everybody needs it. It holds up a roof. You can hang things on it. It comes in multiple colors. It has different textures. What is it? It's a foundation. Yes, a wall. Veronica, yes. I, and I just got that by looking at my wall. Cause my wall plain as I don't know what. It's a wall. It holds up foundation. It holds up your roof. It has different textures. It comes in multiple cousin, colors. You can hang things on it. It's a wall. Yes. Okay. You go. Cause somebody say a school, a test. Hey, living life in Florida. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, I got another one. They come in different sizes. 
Let me see. They come in different sizes. They can hold different things. They have a top on it. Some come with handles. Some come without handles. What am I? I come in different sizes. Some come with tops. Some come without tops. Some have handles. Some has some has none. What am I? Not a bin. Not a not a cup. Not a table. Not a box. Um. Yes. You use it for water. You use it for paints. What am I? No, nope, not a basket. No, nope, not a chest. No, I come in different sizes. Yes, Lanani, a bucket. I am a bucket. I come in different sizes. I could be small. I could be short. I come with handles. I come with some tops. I come with no top. I come with no handles. I, I hold water. I hold paint. I'm a bucket. Yes. <laughs> she said weed. <laughs> Okay, this one. Everybody has one. Everybody want a bigger one. Everybody like to walk into them, but every room may not have one. Some of them have sliding doors. Some have barn doors. Some have open doors. What am I? Nope. 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 Yes, Ruby, a closet. Ruby wrote a closet. Veronica, a closet. Yes, everybody have one. Some people want a bigger one. Some people want walk-in ones. Some of them got barn doors, sliding doors, just regular doors, and some rooms don't have none at all. I'm a closet. Hey, hey, that was good. Now, I'm looking around my room trying to think of stuff. <laughs> I ain't want to say you hang things in me because that would have been too on point. <laughs> I look, I'm looking around my room trying to think of stuff. Okay. Let me see this one. Okay. It can assist you. It comes with one foot or two or three. Sometimes we refer to it as our third leg. It helps you when you walk. What am I? Yes, Mo82, a cane, a cane. I'm looking at my cane. Y'all, I am literally looking at stuff in my room trying to think of things to say. Yes, a cane, a cane, a knife. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes, okay, it's a cane. Let me think. Okay. This one. You can open them. You can shut them. They come in different sizes, different shades, and different colors. Some have strings. Some are push up. What am I? Yes, blinds. Yes, blinds. Mo 82 blinds. What you cooking? Blinds. Yes. I look at the blinds. Y'all so I look at the blinds through. I look at the blinds through the camera. I said, oh, I'm gonna do blinds. <laughs> Because, you know, some have strings. You can open them. They come in different shades and color. You got the ones, like my son, ones that my sons, they're touch. You can touch the bottom of them and just push them up. And they don't have those old-fashioned drawstrings anymore. Yes, blinds. Look, that's... <laughs> No, no. <laughs> you got next one going to be an AC man. <laughs> no. Damn. <laughs> uh, I got that one. <clears throat> you say you love the push. I don't like the push ones because the more I push, the more the thing goes up. And if you could push it for it to go up, you probably better push it like twice and make it drop. And I was like, I don't like these things because the more you push them, it keep going up. So my son said, no, but once you push it, you got to take your hand. You got to pull them down. I was like, man, I had my son blinds all the way up to the dead on top. I said, how did you? I said, how did it come down? I don't like them. They're confusing. Um, but, you know, everything got to be modern and up to date and stuff like that. Okay. I got this one. We can use it all year round, but most people love it in the summer. It cools you down. You can play games in it. It makes you wet. 
If you eat, you'll get cramps. What am I? No. Yes, lay down in your pool. I'm a pool. You can use it all year round because they got some inside pools. They got some outside pools. Okay. You can play games in it. They play pool games. They play Marco Polo. They play volleyball. Uh-huh. It gets you wet because water is what? Water is wet. Yes, it's a pool. I am a pool. Yes. Thank you. Somebody say this is so much fun. Thank you, Marina Gilbert. Yes. Okay. Um, someone said lick. <laughs> okay. Um, I come in different sizes, different colors. I could be expensive or I could be cheap. I am refillable. I could be engraved and I start fires. What am I? Nope. Nope. Don't make it repeat it because I'm making these up on top of my head. I probably don't remember. Yes, Lanani, I'm a lighter. I'm a lighter. Lighter comes in all different colors. They come in different. Yes, West Coast Cali, I'm a lighter. They come in different colors. They come in different shapes and sizes. Some can be engraved. Some can be refilled with lighter fluid. And I start a fire. Yes, lighter. Ah. I ain't got these written down. I'm coming up with some. Y'all making a girl think. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all making me think. Okay, um, lighter, yes. Uh, that was good. Yeah, that was good, Wesley Michelle. Girl, I be fighting for a lighter every day in this house. I be telling my kids, well, how y'all don't have lighters? I be wanting to um, light my candle. I can never find a lighter. Always end up finding a dead lighter. I just told them yesterday, I'm going to buy me a whole box of lighters. And don't nobody touch my lighters because I need lighters to light my candles. I like my house to smell good. And when you clean up and stuff, I like to light my candles because that aroma be popping. Okay, um, I got another one. We all have one. They're a part of your home. They are different textures. You could wipe it, mop it, walk on it, sit on it, cover it up. You could wax it. What am I? Everyone has one. Is it? Yes, Lanani, your floor, your floor, your floor, your floor. Yes, your floor. Yes, your floor. I, I think that was too easy. Okay, y'all got that one. I'm trying to think. Because usually what I do with my passwords, she said bleach. I write my passwords down. But since she only gave us 21 and they were really, really fun. And we haven't done passwords for such a long time. It's like I might as well go to stand and try to throw some stuff off the top of my head. Okay, I got one for you. I could be long. I could be short. I'm used at playtime. I'm used in emergencies. I could be used with, on mountaintops. I could be used to hang clothes. I could tie things up. What am I? Yes, a rope. Lalani. Girl, I cannot say your name. I'm just going to say kitchen. Yes, Miss J, a rope, a rope. Yes, uh, Miss Kitchen, a rope. Miss J's world, a rope. Yes, thank you, Miss Frank, a rope. Yes, a rope, a rope. Okay. Mm. I got another one. You can find me everywhere. You can find me everywhere. My prices go up and down. I come in different brands. Sometimes it could be a shortage. Sometimes I could be overpriced. Yes, oh my God. Yes, um, kitchen, gas. That was too easy. Yes, Miss Bird. And y'all y'all got that one. Gas. I'm everywhere. I come in different, um, I come in different brands. So, you know, you got, um, diesel, you got, um, premium, you got regular. 
Uh, you got regular. Um, I could be high. I could be low. I could be overpriced. Yes, it's gas. Yes, and we all need that because our bills don't run without it. Our lawnmowers, well, I don't know they got electric lawnmowers. Um, who is this big Millie man? So does he get the strap for this Cody? Who? For this cootie? What is you talking about? I think we may got to put you on the timeout because I ain't understanding all I can. I don't know, Big Billy, Big Millie, Ruby. I don't know who that is. I'm, at, I'm about to ignore the messages on that one. Okay. Let me, um, excuse me. I got one. I could keep you warm. Sometimes I'm too hot for you. I come in small. I come long. I come short. I come crew. I have multiple colors and designs. What am I? No, nope, not a blanket, not a cover. Nope. I can keep you warm. Oh, so socks, socks, socks. Who said it? Shern. Miss Shern. I think I saw Miss Shern. Yep, Miss Shern was first. Socks. I'm socks. I can keep you warm in the wintertime, but in the summertime, I could be too hot for you. I come in multiple sizes. Um, tall, short, and crew. Come on, crew, crew socks. Y'all know crew socks. And I come in different colors. I'm socks. I'm socks. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yes. A blanket. It could have been blanket, but I was thinking socks. Coat covers, yes. But I was thinking socks. That was a good one. Yes, I was thinking socks. Um, let's see. I'll try to think of something. Look, Ruby said, had me thinking. <laughs> I know that's right. He had, he had, had me thinking. Uh, it's so much stuff out in this world. Why is so much stuff out in this world? But when you try to think of something, you feel so you so overwhelmed, the pressure. Hey, Erica D. Hey, girl, it's been a long time. How you been? Haven't seen you in the chat, and, and I know, and I know the name because I remember you from Bingo and everything. What's up, Erica D? Hey, Miss Shirley, how you doing? Okay, um, let me think of something. Okay, I got this. Think of something in the kitchen. Okay. Um, I'm very useful. I could be plastic or I could be metal. I come in different shapes and different styles and different colors. I've had holes in me. Who am I or what am I? Nope, I could be useful. Nope. I come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. I have holes in me. Nope, not spoon. Yeah, somebody said strainer. Miss Ruby, it's a strainer. Yes, it's a strainer. Calendar. Yes, Miss Veronica. I got two people, not Mexico. I have holes in me. Yes. It's what we call it. A calendar, a strainer. Yes. Uh, can I make a game? Uh, uh, I'm gonna say, can um, can I make a game up and have them guess, please, Miss T? Yeah, we could do that. We do that too sometimes, cause girl, the girl brain don't be working all the time. Okay, so sometimes I do have Soul Squad members come in. I'll read it out loud, and then we all try to guess it. Okay, Miss Shirley says she wanted um, guess one. So y'all, yes, we cook it with the grease now. They said. <laughs> There's some holes in this house. <laughs> you know that was my song. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna look at Miss Shirley. And she um she gonna um she gonna put um some clues down and I'm gonna read Miss Shirley crew um clues and then um you guys are gonna try to guess it. So Miss Shirley, put in your clue. I'm too bad I can't pin it. I can't pin anymore. So I'm gonna try to catch it. So that I can read it to the soul squad and the soul squad gonna try, we're gonna try to answer because I'm gonna have to try to answer them as well. So, Miss Shirley, put in your clue. And you better not be a troll. I'm telling you, we'll know by the clue. <laughs> Cause lately, because uh, 
We've been on a ball, y'all. We've been having good vibes. We've been doing morning check-ins. And it's like as soon as we get we, we get where we need to be with, with our family, here come the people just want to do some interruption. So, but we didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't learn how to catch y'all now. So, you know, I'm open to everybody playing this game. Um, it's super long. So is that the that's the clue? It's super long. Okay, West Coast Cali says she got one. It's super long. It makes you high. Try to do it all at once. It's super long. It makes you high. Are you talking about a blunt? I'm just saying. A pong. She said a pong. It's super long. It makes you high. Everybody say a pong. Some people said a pong. <laughs> I said a blunt. I don't know. Everybody saying a pong. Is there any more clues to it? It can be hard. It's super long. It makes you high. It can be hard. It can be soft. I'm starting. I, I'm starting to have a feeling, y'all, that we about to put her on, on timeout. And no disrespect. We ain't in here to be crude and vulgar. We ain't have a good time. That could be my mind, or that could be somebody else's mind. Say she said life. Uh, Lisa said life. It could be hard. It could be soft. It could be um. It could be long. I can't remember all that she said. Y'all yeah, know we're here for a good time. We're not in here for a long time, but we're here to have fun. <laughs> so we about to, come on West Coast. <laughs> Yeah, come on, West Coast. We we, we about to um. Somebody said, <laughs> and I'm confused. Ah, we we said a cry pot hard long, and I'm confused. Yes, I'm confused too. That's why that don't sound right. Okay, I'm I'm gonna read West Coast Cali's, y'all. We all everybody take your mind off of off the other young ladies. Put your mind on West Coast Cali's. She put it all in one, and I'm about to read it. Can be used. Oh, come on. I can't pin. Oh, shoot. Okay. West Coast Cali can't be used around the house, hold items or plates or remote controls, drinks, and can be folded up. What is it? Um, she said, can be used around the house to hold items or plates. Or remote controls, drinks, and can be folded up. Somebody say a tray table. Yes, it's a tray table. Okay, okay. That was good, West Coast. That was good. Leilani, you should give us one. Because, girl, you be guessing, so I know you know something. That was good, West Coast. That was real good. Um, I'll try to think of some. I got one. Um, I come in many styles. I say, okay, I put my switch up. Okay, I got one for y'all. Yeah, Tara, it's a big back call, Soulful T. She's gone. Let's see. Yeah, I knew Miss Shirley was. She said, it's a big back call. <laughs> Y'all, you know, Bigo is 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 foo foo. Okay, she's a troll. We gotta get her up out of here. <laughs> Can be hot or cold, and sometimes I let off steam. A, a kettle. I got it. On um, West Coast Collie, it can, um can be hot or cold, and sometimes I let off steam. Um, it's a tea kettle, teapot. Yeah, are we white West Coast? <laughs> ah, these people, I can't with these people. <laughs> A teapot, a kettle. What's your what's the answer, West Coast? <laughs> uh iron. Oh, because the iron do let off steam. Cause anybody still put water in the iron? You put water in the iron and it will steam up. It do get hot and it be cold before it steams. That was real good. An iron. That was a good one. That was a real good one. So that's I need some of y'all. So y'all need for our next password. Somebody else email me some. So like when you email them to me, of course you can't um you can't um um be in the game. Okay, so Frank got one. Form of protection. 
used in baseball, police weapon, and many people are scared of it. What is it? A form of protection used in baseball, police weapon, and many people are scared of it. What is it? A taser, a gun, a helmet, a bat, a stun gun. What's that thing that people used to whip out and hit people with the police officers? Um, got it. Or it or it has um, it's long, but it has like a handle to it. What's that thing called? I forgot. What's that thing called? Police a, a club. Oh, it's a bat. Oh, it's a bat. I ain't no police carry bats. Police carry bats. Okay, I ain't no police carry bats. I know they carry their wand. Okay, okay, that's good. A baton. I never heard of that. A bat. Okay. Yeah, I'd be scared of a bat if it's swinging in my direction. It most definitely got a duck in the road. Okay. All right, I got one for you. Sometimes I'm hot. Okay, sometimes I'm hot, I could be small, or I could be large and out of control. I'm dangerous and harmful. Sometimes I could be bright orange and red and different colors. What am I? I could be hot, I could be small, I could be large and out of Yes! Fire, Lanani, fire, bird, bird, fire, Erica D, fire, um, yes, Michelle, fire. You know, sometimes I could be, I could be, I could be hot, large, and out of control. I'm most definitely dangerous. I comes in different bright colors, and I could be small or I could be large. Yes, um, fire, flames, yes, fire, yes. Hey, that was good. That was good. I got, I got, I got another one. Um, I have names. I'm tall. I'm short. I'm beautiful from a distance. People love to climb me. I have pictures on me. I have sculptures on me. What am I? Mountains. Yes, Leilani. Mountains. Yes. Oh, here go. Ruby got one. I'm a oh, Ruby took it away. Mountains. Yes, mount. Let me know if you want to do one because that way you won't be in the middle of one and then I can focus on your on your on your clues. Yeah, because you know mountains are tall, they're small. Um, some mountains got sculptures on them. Um, people love to climb them. What she say? It's smelly, no ambition, child support, what am I? You know what? <laughs> it's smelly, no ambition, child support, what am I? Ah. I'm hungry. I want Sophie to cook, what am I? I'm hungry. I want Sophie to cook, what am I? We say food for Andrew. God dang it, nigga, another troll. I got her. Ghetto rats, Lord have mercy. They out of control tonight, y'all. Yes, now y'all, Ruby want to do one. And look, I had the same answer, though. That's bad that I was answering that big dog, Chris. <laughs> That's bad, man. You was thinking the same answer. All right, y'all. Uh, Ruby want to answer one. No more clues. We're focusing on Ruby. Yeah, we see you, um, Erga. That's bad that I was, we was all thinking the same thing, but it ended up being a troll. <laughs> all right, Ruby, go ahead, baby. I'm going to focus on you so I can read your um, clue. Y'all, we're going to focus on Ruby. Okay, Ruby said, I could be pinned or glued down. I come in different lengths and colors. I can be plastic or high quality. What am I? Ruby said, I could be pinned or clued down. I come in different colors. Come in different lengths and colors. I could be plastic or high quality. What am I high? They said hair, wig. Um, 
um, waves, um, wig. Somebody, somebody say balls under my name. Yes, a wig. Thank you, Ruby. Y'all, we about to wrap this up. Somebody say sober tea. Somebody said balls. <laughs> I couldn't even catch it if I could um, take them away. Mm. Uh, these trolls are having fun. I, I, you know, I love it. We are, you know what? We're having so much fun that the trolls even got getting on our fun. It's all good. We just remove them and let's push on. I don't know how they post under my name, girl. They brilliant. If they put that much work into um that, they'll be they be out of this world. Work and still grieving my father's past. Oh, I'm so sorry, Erica, about your dad, honey. Yes. They been bad tonight. What's up, Kim? How you doing, boo? All right, I got one for you. I got one for y'all. Okay, I got one for you. I could be expensive. At one time, I was even cheap and maybe reasonable. Everybody needs me. You could come in a lot or you could come in little. I'm everywhere in the world. What am I? I mean, I come in a paper. Oh, I come in plastic. I can even come in boxes. What am I? Um, I see say food. Yes, baby bird. Food, groceries. Yes, Erica D. Groceries, food. Yes, I come in paper. I come in bag. I can be put in boxes. At one point, I was, I'm expensive. Then I was cheap. You even say I was reasonable. But I'm all over the world. What am I? Yes, groceries, food. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, baby. I'm so sorry for your loss. What's up, Kim? How you doing, girl? I ain't seen your name in a long time. How you been? How you been? Someone said, Chillis, I saw that. <laughs> And she said, I want something so bad. Now, my mama used to love chitlins. She didn't eat them all the time, but she eat them like every two years or something when she really think about it. Mm. Somebody say alone. <laughs> you said, girl, say, all right, y'all, I'm about to be up out of here. And look, I see y'all tomorrow morning on our what? Our Wednesday hump day. Can you believe the week is almost over? I will see y'all tomorrow morning before 12. Here he say, here's one. Okay, we got the last one by West Coast Cali. Here's one. Can be used in the kitchen on your hair. Oh, I know that one. A straightening comb. A straightening comb. I know that one, honey, because I'm 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 from the early 70s and the 80s when the back of my neck used to go to school with scars on the back of my neck. I know it gotta be a straightening comb. Hey Kim. Yes, that hey. Oh, you said grease? God dang it, it was grease. Oh man, but that straight comb was real. That was most definitely used in the kitchen. Because your clues sure enough sound like, but it was grease. Okay. Go ahead with your bad self. You got us on that one. Yeah, somebody said strainer. We've been there strainer a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Laleen said, yes, it says I had one. I still have my mother's Michelle. I don't think people, they got electric straightening calls now. But honey, let me tell you, back in the day, ooh, and y'all know Easter on Sunday, y'all, back in the day, on um, the, sir, the day before Easter, the night before Easter, or early Easter morning, sitting in your mom's kitchen, with a towel around your neck because you don't want to get burnt from the burnt hair and some blue magic. Mm. That was that was the best all you wrote. Some blue magic and a towel around your neck, sitting in the kitchen going, hold still. Hold still. If you don't hold still, I am going to burn you. <coughs> <coughs> I'm telling you. <coughs> that made me choke. 
The hair was laid though. Yes. And the hair was laid. My mama did our hair, man. And then she had the curlers too. She had the curlers. And you put the curls in the store. My mother be clicking it. And curling your hair and stuff. Man, those are good old days. That was good memories. That blue magic. Them curling arms and that straightening comb. And don't forget the other comb. Because she always swears she ain't burning you. Because she's sticking the comb up beneath your hair and trying to straighten. She Because she want all the edges. Your mama wanted all the edges. She taking that little comb, pulling your hair up. And then got your hair coming through the teeth of the comb. And trying to um straighten it. And still burn you the whole time and tell you to hold still. She don't care if you walked out with two or three birds on the back of your neck. Her process going to get done. <laughs> so people say, oh, your hair looks so beautiful. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I was so glad my mother saw her purse in our hair. I think we saw her purse when we was about maybe 12. <laughs> yes, it was, Kim. Yes, I remember. I did wing sock and purse. We was, man, when they came up with purse, they probably been had, but my mama wasn't used to. But mama first saw putting purse I had, honey, they wasn't no better. Oh, yeah, we wore ruffle socks, black platinum shiny shoes, and pretty ruffle dresses. We had the matching bowls in our hair, and we had the flip. In the back of our head, uh-huh, and the bang. We didn't need the kitchen because we always had a bang, baby. That bang, we always had a bang. And we had the shoebox East baskets. Yeah, but we had the ruffle roll-down socks. I love them socks. My granddaughter and I East still got, I don't know if she got none there, but she used to wear those socks. Her mother used to buy those socks. And y'all remember the, the yarn ribbons? The yarn ribbons? Oh, man, we had tons of the yarn ribbons. Little girls don't be like little girls no more. We had the yarn ribbons, and we had the um the bow rats, and then the, um what's the thing to the, with the stretch in the middle, and they had the two balls on the end, and they was all different colors. Some of them you could see through them. Some of them you couldn't. We had buckets of all that stuff. You had to go on, and especially for school, you got your head done every Saturday night. And it's supposed to be your hairdo for the week. Got your hair done every Sunday for the week for school. And you had to wear a scarf on your head to bed every night. And in the morning time, you just got to brush up and everything. No. No. I'm going to say, I, don't, I ain't going to say maybe we was poor or maybe my mother or my mother just knew the hacks of the world. How did y'all, the knockers, yes, how did y'all get curls in y'all hair when y'all hair wasn't getting curled on the stove? Please, I want somebody to tell me this. I want somebody to tell me this because I think it's still. I'm going to tell you, we used to have a head full of. Yes, remember jelly beans, jelly sandals? Nope, not sponge rollers. Nope, we ain't have sponge rollers. We, y'all know what we had in our hair? Paper bag, grocery bags. There you go, Michelle. Paper bag. Bags sitting around, your hair get nice and pressed, and then your mother sit down and take a grocery bag, rip that bag, twist it, roll your hair up, and tie it in a knot, and boom, and you walking around with with um with um grocery bags with hair all over your head. But guess what? You got the next morning to go to church. You unraveled that. Who had curls? I had curls. Who had curls? I had curls. Uh-huh. And mama go brush and curl it out and fluff. Who had curls? Yes, we did. Stop playing. Our mamas knew how to do it. They had to go to store and get no sponge rollers. She said they had sponge rollers for me. We had paper bags. Today's generation would never understand. They would never understand. Hey, and this is when I was a little girl, eight, nine, ten years old. Our mamas knew how to make it work. She ain't, my mama, went, my mama ain't crying because my baby daddy ain't give me $120 to take my daughter to the day going barber shop. My mama ain't crying that. She wasn't doing that. She wasn't saying, I need $120 or my baby hair ain't getting done. Nah, boo. We ain't do that. We got our hair washed, conditioned, um, scalp grease, and straightened, combed out, and rolled up in paper. Huh, you better ask somebody who know. Somebody say, wow, that's genius. I never had that done. Our people are great in investors. Yes, they are. 
I mean, yes, they are. Huh? My mom ain't do that. I don't know if she could find my daddy, but she could find my daddy. She wasn't asking for the money to get my head done because she did it. Everybody want to take the easy way out <laughs> these days, man. They got to be sort of old school. I seen on TikTok this old, um, this, this, um, this, um, um, petition. She was using straightening combs and the old, she was doing old, she do old school hair. She used to do old school hair with the hot curlers on her little burner. Yeah, you said my mama had four girls. Yeah. No. Do y'all remember? I don't know what year it was. I'm going to say it was the 70s. Do y'all remember when you take the halter top? Do anybody, man, I used to be pressed for long hair. I used to try to make my hair grow. I don't think I got that thing done maybe once or twice. Y'all remember you take the halter top and you put the halter top, you put the halter top in a circle. You roll it in a circle, then you put it in your hair, and then you take your hair and flip and pin it over. And you had the upright, um, the upright mushroom. Y'all remember, I forgot what that hairstyle called. They used to take the halter top. Halter top was famous in the early 70s and 80s. People love halter tops. We had halter tops in all types of sizes and colors and stuff. And the boys used to pull them down. Oh, boys used to run and pull your halter top down. Girl, and for us girls who had boobies, you know halter tops. Um, some of us was wearing bras. Our mamas ain't had us in no training bras and stuff. You put that halter top on, go outside with your pair of shorts. You got to deal with those nasty, funky little boys. Who want to pull down your two tops and run? Yeah. Man. Man, man, we have fun. That's when little boys was little boys, little girls, little girls. We was playing double dutch, hot scotch. The boys chasing us. We was playing tag. We was playing, we was cheering, playing dumb school. Man, childhood. I had a good childhood uh, growing up. You know what I'm saying? Those people, they don't play like that no more. We can't, I mean, I know we're supposed to grow and innovate, but they just miss on some good stuff. Some good stuff. Yes, remember the mushroom hairstyle? Oh, the mushroom hairstyle was beast. Yeah, that thing, that thing had to be fluffy. And I love the girls who had the real pretty good hair. You get their hair nice and permed or straightened. And that bin, oh man, that bin was fluffy. Yes, the mushroom. Yes, the month the mushroom. I'm 54, so you know I have seen it all when it came to the hairdo. That mushroom hairstyle, you had the you had the halter, you had the mushroom. Then was the that was the best hairstyle. And then in the 80s, we had the asymmetric. Hey, in the 80s and 90s, who had the asymmetric? You know what the asymmetric is with one side up, one side down. <laughs> yes, the guys had the shade. Old school hood, hood snacks can't eat the mail. Yes. Yes, the French roll and finger waves. Yep. My mother knew how to do finger waves. And we had the right amount of hair for finger waves. My mother used to put finger waves in our hair all the time. They used to look so good. My mom used to do our hair. My mother, my mother used to do our hair to the finger waves. Yes. But you remember all that, man. The asymmetric was in. You had girls walk around with this side was up, this side was long, covering the eye, the asymmetric. And then what they used to call it, the layers. Um, the flip like fair faucet. Yes. And um, the flip like fair faucet hair. Yes. You had to have, you had to have that good hair to be doing that. You know, you had to have it. <laughs> You had to have Indian in your family. <laughs> what they say? I got Indian in my family. This ain't no perm. <laughs> and no time you got black lovely sitting on your dresser in your house. <laughs> Do they even still make black lovely? You got black lovely sitting on the dresser in your house talking about, I got Indian in my family. <laughs> okay, boo. <laughs> oh, how many people, how many young girls you read a call and tell you guys that? And the whole time you got black lovely sitting in your house on the dresser. And you ain't got <laughs> you ain't got the regular, you got the super. <laughs> I know that that was <laughs> that <thing> was not. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, you had the regular mouth and super. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. I remember, man, life in the 80s and man, life in the 70s, 80s was man, black and lovely. Yes, man, life was beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. If I have a time machine, 
that would be the era that I would love, I would revisit. I, I ain't gonna say I want to stay there, but that must definitely be the era that I would love to revisit and enjoy my family. Yes, we got the wrong number to people. What was y'all name? Just Krista just did that. We was talking about old stuff. And she was, just Krista said back in the day, her, her, her street name was Tanya. I said, girl, mine was Kim. What was y'all street name? Because back then, they couldn't call us. They had to take your word for it, and they had to take your number for it. But see, now, they'd be like, put your number in my phone. But back in the day, they couldn't do that. Yours was Debbie. Mine was Kim. I was always Kim. I was always my, oh, okay. Uh, Michelle said mine was Tina. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody said mine was Portia. Yes, I remember the jerk curl with the yellow spray. Somebody said my name was Lisa. Man, I know we all. Now, do you think dudes, I ain't going to say, I know I got a couple guys on here. But y'all ain't never get no fake name because y'all was so pressed. Y'all gave y'all real name. And y'all gave y'all real phone numbers. Y'all was pressed. But trust me, Lee, have them ladies you met, that was not their name. Somebody said, my mother was he back. <laughs> yes, I don't know if Ted had one, but my name was Kim. I always get the name Kim. I wish you that. Oh, I'm Kim. Knowing that we lying. Somebody said, yeah, so we sophisticated. Hey, Kay and Ray. Yes, we still here. She so said, Yvette is my middle name. Yes. Yeah, everybody out here giving people these false names and false phone numbers. I'm going to tell you, so I could never remember a number. So I used, get, I used to give out my phone number, excuse me, up to the part when it gets to like the last two digits. The last two digits would be wrong. The last two digits would be wrong. And then another thing that young men would never experience, and I think I talked about this before, young men will never experience calling someone house at 10 or 11 o'clock and their grandmother or their parents pick up the phone and be like, she ain't here or she on punishment. But you don't call my house this time of night. It's too late to be calling here. And, and, and then that's what, you tell that boy don't be calling my house at no 10, 11 o'clock at night. Remember that? Or remember when somebody be on the other end, you to pick the phone up and listen on your conversation. Man, times has changed. Oh my God. Young men these days will never get cussed out by pers, by grandmothers, by mothers and fathers anymore because everybody got a cell phone. They got direct lines. But honey, them house phones back in the day, and you calling somebody house at 11 and 10 o'clock and it burns them? We tell my dad would have burst me all the time. Oh my God. And your fathers, they had no, if your father was in your life and he was in that home, that phone rung at 10, 11, man, it may be 9, it depends on what time your curfew was. Man, they them, them boys got cussed out. They got cussed out. And man, I called your house and your father was me. Emergency, I used to do those all the time, sophisticated lady. Those emergency interruption because you got a one-way line. Or tell them to call twice and hang up on the person and then call back. Yes. You right. You right. I remember that. You give them clues. Say, look, if you call my house at 11 o'clock, uh, yes, tell them what to do. And that way, you know, if you hit the phone ring two times and then it stop. And then they call back, you 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 catch it on the first ring. Yes, the clue phone calls by the fly. You are so ever right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that with the ass. But yeah, I was so happy when I get the three-way. Oh, my grandmother used to get mad at me and tell My grandparents, they had the um, they had one-way line, and we used to constantly my grandma, my grandmother line stayed, stayed busy. It took them a long time just to get a two-way. My grandparents would not change their um, phone bill from a one-way to a two-way when two-way came out. And you should always have to call an operator to make emergency breakthrough. Even if it's not an emergency, but who is in the house on the phone for three and four hours? You constantly calling. Who in the house? Oh, you can never catch the phone in between when ain't nobody on it. You call and go, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, why is the biggest thing? You got to do emergency breakthrough. It took a long time for my grandparents to get a two-way line. And then when my mother finally got a three-way line, she got mad because then you got you, you doing a party phone. 
Did y'all used to do a party phone with y'all friends? Like, somebody would call me. And I would take up our three-way line because I would call two people and connect them. And then that person, if they got a three-way, they would call two people and connect them. Then the other person would call somebody and connect We got a party now. We got like 10 or 12 people, all of us on the phone, talking and laughing on the phone at the same time. Y'all remember how y'all used to make the party line on the three-way line? Man, we figured that out, man. We used to be on the telephone, having us a Good old time connecting each other, hanging up with each other, man. I'm tell you, I'm tell you, our people is missing out. And I say our people tomorrow, our kids, this generation, this generation of every color, race, or whatever, they just will never know what it was like to live life in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I'm sorry. The 90s started getting a little bit rough, but them 70s and the 80s was the best life ever. A lot of guys got busted by those emergency calls and the rough. Yes. I remember pay phone booth. We, you, you remember the emergency ones on my grandma's street? At the, I don't even think they got emergency phones no more. Do y'all remember the red box that you sit down on the corner of your block? Well, we had them in D.C. So on the residential block at the end, at the bottom of our hill, our hill, we was on D Street, D Street Southeast. At the bottom of my hill, connected to the lamp pole, there was a red box with a phone in it, and it was an emergency phone. So say if something happened in your neighborhood or, or something happened at your house and you can't call, it was an emergency phone at the end of our block, and you just pick it up, and you, it connects you right to 911. They, only have, they don't have emergency boxes no more. They don't have emergency boxes, and they don't have um, phone booths no more. All that stuff is obsolete. Yes, the neighborhood candy lady. Yep, we had a neighborhood candy lady. No, we had a neighborhood freezy lady selling the freezy for 25 cents in the white foam cups. Remember the white foam cups? All that sugar and ice at the top. Yeah, we had the candy lady. Yes, the freezy lady for 25 cents. That's to have my purple badge badgers. Mmm. Yeah, so I don't think I think they should bring in mercy phones back though. I don't know why they took away those emergency phones. Um, when they took those off, I was like, wow. You, and the thing about it is that stuff happens so gradually that you don't notice it to us. Like, yeah, yeah, they did. They removed the emergency phone box. You don't remember when it happens. It's all of a sudden, like, yeah, you just know it's not there. It's like they come in the night and they take stuff. <laughs> It's like they come in the night and they take stuff. It's just one minute it's there and you look up again. They be like, damn, what happened to the emergency phone box in the block? Man, that thing could have saved so many lives. I don't know if it was ever used on that block, but they need to put those back. I think that's a good source. But I think what it was that people was playing on them. Because who told you pick it up? It's direct to 911. It had no phone numbers. It had nothing. You pick it up. It's like a, it was like a direct call. It was a direct phone straight. We had those in D.C. I don't know about no other states. And we had one on our block at the bottom of our hill. So, base, you got immersed. You running all the way down to the bottom of the hill. Playing board games and cards for hours. Yeah. Oh, I love black cherry. Black cherry is my favorite. But back in the day, when I was, cause they had one, they had an apple juice one. Mm. Lord, I still got Kool. I make Kool Aid man for my family. I make grape. I make orange. I make Tropicana and lemonade. I make the blue raspberry and lemonade. I got lemon in my canisters on my on my on my counter. Got Kool Aid packages and Crystal Light packages in my little small canister. I still make Kool Aid. <laughs> Kool Aid is the bomb. My when I made when I and I started by making. I was making that Brandon house and I was making it here. People said, "Man, this take me back to my very farm days. Some good old Kool Aid." And I said, "Don't it?" Cause we was in Berry Farms. They was growing up. We used to buy the big canister of Kool Aids from Sam's Club and BJ's, and only came in two flavors: was the lemonade and the um and the, a fruit punch. Yeah. I still make Kool-Aid, but I only, I only make Kool-Aid when, like, 
if there's no more juices, because, you know, I constantly buy jugs, you know, Mallow's tea, Minute Maid, orange juice, apple juice. So the Kool-Aid is actually just a standby situation for us here. Like if all the, all the quick juice is gone and I'll make some Kool-Aid just to have something to drink in the refrigerator, I'll pitch, pitch Kool-Aid. But I'm going to tell you this. They tell me, somebody said watermelon. I never had watermelon. They say this. I don't buy drink no Kool-Aid. That's way back a long time ago. But why when I wake up in the morning, I'll make it in the morning time, right? And I wake up, Kool-Aid be by down here. And I got that big mini maid, that big rubber mate picture with the burgundy top. They complain about the Kool-Aid, right? But if I wake up, it'd be a half a picture. It'd be the quarter picture. And I look in the fridge and I say, for somebody who complain about it, I'm so, it look like it's getting drunk to me. I don't be knowing. Go ahead. It's not playing with me, man. <laughs> Let's stop playing with me. All right, guys. I'm about to get up out here because a girl, I grew up with Tane. Yes, we did. We grew up with Tane. We grew up with Tane. Yes, we did. My mother always had Tane. We used to have Tane. My mother, my mother, my mother loved her some Tane. Um, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to leave y'all with these two things to look at on, net, on, on TV. It's this show called Upgrade. You're welcome, Dean. I enjoyed the night, too. It's this show called yep, Nessie Quick Chocolate and Strawberry. Um, when they came out with Strawberry, it was a whole rage. Can you get the strawberry? Can you get the strawberry? Can you get the strawberry? Yes. Thank you, um, Big Dog Chris. Thank you. I'll be here tomorrow morning. It's hump day. My grandson not here, so it'll be before 12. It's called Upgrade. It is on uh, and it's on um Amazon Prime. It was good. I, I, I ain't gonna be at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm looking at that. It's on Amazon Prime. Then I y'all. I saw this show on Netflix. It's about um, it's like a hundred people. And I think it's a Korean, it's a Korean one. It's and it's about a hundred people. And they could test it. It's a, it's a show of endurance. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's on Netflix. It's called something. Let me see if I get the name for y'all. I was looking at that last night, too. I be looking at crazy stuff. But I thought it was an interest. It's, about, it, it was, it, it, it's a show of endurance. It's 100 people. I'm going to get the name of it for y'all. It can't remind me. Yeah, it's called physical. Yes, no, Shirley was, I'll just tell you that next. And look at Shirley. Shirley was so good. Shirley hold my attention. I watched the whole thing. It educated me because when I looked at the years that they were putting up 78, 79, we were kids in elementary school. And either my memory don't go back that far or when we were in school, they did, they wasn't teaching us that a black woman was trying to run for president. They wasn't teaching us none of this history about Shirley Chisholm when we were in school. And we were in elementary school. I was probably in like the third or fourth grade. So if that was actually going on at that time, I don't remember our teachers or anybody mentioning to us or addressing it. You know, so I didn't have... I had no idea of, of um, I heard her name throughout the years, but I never knew, and this could be double my fault, but I'm, on my part, I can admit this, I never knew this woman tried to run for president. I never knew none of this stuff until I looked at this show. They, When we were in elementary school and I was looking at the date and time dates that they were putting up here, I was like, they never talked about this in school. And I was, this was the age, I was like seven, I was born in 69, and this was happening in 78 and 76 and 78, we were in elementary school. They wasn't telling us nothing about this. Yeah, her and her sister was real good. They wasn't telling us nothing about this. I said, so I thought it was very informative. It was very educational. It holds your attention. Yes, at first I said that. I said her sister was jealous. But I don't, and then after a while, I still say she was jealous because like she admit that how her, she said how her father treated her different. Her father always made her think that she was, her father always made her think that she could do so much. But like we talk about that, some people, I don't think it's jealous. I don't even think she knew that she was jealous. I think that um, she just felt like her sister did too much or or, or she was too scared to step out and do stuff on her own. She let society and what was going on hold her back. You know, she and I think too, she was feared that she didn't want her sister to get hurt. 
She probably didn't want her sister to get hurt because she was always in the in the highlight of everything. She probably didn't want her to get hurt um, because she just ain't understand how her sister was just a she was just a firecracker, man. And she ain't understand and all this adversity and all this all everything that's going on against our people. How how you know? How can you be out here doing this? You know, dad always made it seem like you was more than what you were. But you got to know that you're more than what you are. Because if you don't, you'll never push yourself. You'll never be unstoppable. So always know that you're more than what you are. There's a lot to you. You have a lot to give. So you got to remember that. So she didn't recognize that. And, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it put fear in her. So it made her resent her sister. Because her sister did. Her, her sister did. She knew that she was much more and she wanted change and she believed in the people and she believed in helping people regardless of what would go on, her house finances, her marriage, and anything. The first though she's gonna lose her husband. But um, but he stuck it out. But yeah, go look at it. I'm not gonna say no more. I don't wanna blow it. Um the Shirley Sword is very interesting, it's very fact-finding, it's very inf informative. I enjoyed it from the beginning to the end. It will glue you in and it, it's not a waste of your time. It is a good watch. If you have kids and they don't know who she is, and they haven't read up on her, they haven't picked her out through black history or throughout the years, just learn about our black culture every day. Teach our children our black culture every day. We're not just a one a month type of people we did a whole lot of stuff we achieved a whole lot of stuff so don't let our kids fall into that trap we only need to know about us in february we know about us every day who we are as 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 a community as a race and as a people all our achievements that we had achieved all the people that did the things they did for they to be where they at teach our kids that let them know that we are more than just a 28 day of a year we are more than and more than that. Teach them about us every day. We are powerful. We are powerful people. Let them know. Okay? I am out. I love you guys. Um, see you guys in the morning before 12. Take a look at all these movies. I enjoyed everybody. This was a fun night. Thanks for the great turnout. We ended with 92 thumbs up, 76 people. So, hey, this was good. All right, guys, see you in the morning. Jack, put some waters in the freezer, please, real quick, because they'll get cold about in 10 minutes in the freezer. I'm thirsty. All right, I'm out. Bye. 365 days a year. Yes, amaze me. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about.